Sitting here with my band tonight, playing a little guitar, the guy who had the biggest record worldwide last year right. from Robin Hood, everything R I do. Right. I think that's pretty happy. Yeah. And, and yesterday, yesterday uh, nominated for 160, 160. Gram uh, 100, 161 Grammy Awards yeah. yesterday. This man right there, Brian. I, you know, you guys are so successful, you're going to think I'm foolish for even bringing this up. Do you mind a suggestion? And you can do with it as you want. You can regard it. You can disregard it. Uh, I don't care. Just let me say one thing to you. What about some outfits? <laughs> they, they actually were thinking it over. How about that? Here, look, look. Canned ham, ladies and gentlemen, in case you think I'm making this up. All right, now, we, this is, we have 200 people in our audience. 200 people, Morty? This is 16 ounces of ham, so we'll, we'll do the math on that and then go out and get the saltines. But everybody tonight gets to enjoy some lovely uh, canned ham. Uh, okay, let's get right to the viewer mail. Paul, do you have music for this? We used uh, to have music. We, we? what, one time? Yeah, let's hear it again. Okay, this, for the, this is the old viewer, viewer mail. Viewer mail, viewer mail. Tonight is the crazy night we read viewer mail. Yeah. Okay, let's get right to it. Composition. And cake. The guy had a little decorated cake there. Here we go. Uh, letter number one. These are actual letters, actual viewers. Dear Dave. Dear David begins, I'll trade you some waffles for a chili dog and a can of cream soda. <laughs> Philippe Pliskin, Belgium. You know, I'm not sure this new unified European monetary system is working out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is, boys? That's an icebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> Letter number two. Dear Dave, I am 58 years old and your show is my favorite thing on television. What the hell is wrong with me? Sincerely, <laughs> sincerely, Ian uh, Scotty McDouche, Vancouver, Washington. <laughs> well, Mr. McDouche, let's see. Uh, what, what's wrong with you? Well, you know, we decided to ask the, the people who know you best. Hal, uh, roll the videotape of people who know Mr. Oh. McDouche from Vancouver. Watch this, uh, Scotty, see if this is... I happen. once heard him talking to a pile of oily rags. He spends a frightening amount of time writing letters to talk shows. I think what Ian has could be clinically described as a personality disorder. But I wouldn't rule out homicidal psychopath. Some of us in the apartment complex believe he may have killed a paperboy with a rake, but we can't prove it. There, Ian, I hope that offered some insight as to what might be wrong with you. That, see, that, that was the icebreaker. <laughs> Letter number three. Uh, my hobby is uh, collecting business cards, and I am writing in hopes of uh, getting some entertainers' cards. This is my favorite uh, category, if possible. Uh, you know, I think you find your better entertainers always have those business, business cards. Business cards, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Available, uh, bar mitzvahs. Yeah, wedding. this is my favorite category. If possible, could you send me four of each of your cards and any other business cards that you might have? Oh, I see. The guy would like to know if I have any interesting cards I can pass along to him. Uh, this comes from Leroy Genzimer, Reading, Pennsylvania. Where is my business card collection? Oh, here it is. I have a couple of ones that you might enjoy getting a look at. Here, let me, let me stand up for this one. Here, here's the first one. Take a, take a look at that. I'm a, there you go. That's Tom Brokaw right there. Tom Brokaw. Okay, and then here's this next one. This is a, a new edition. I have a problem with this. Problem with this. That's right. Okay, and here's Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain. There you go. Business card. We'll send those uh, right out to you. And, and you see, that one now makes up for one and two. That's how that works. I understand that. Uh, letter number four, are we up to four already? Man, we're making great time tonight, aren't we? Show, it's yeah. a good feeling to know we're blowing yes. right through this because we've got a big program, a lot of fine guests, and we want to get right to them. want to make sure everybody gets their due time this evening. Hey, and some of them ought to do time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> And that was a mistake. Uh, letter number four. Dear Dave, have you ever mistaken a small kitchen appliance for a frosty beverage? 
Oh, man, speaking of mistakes, um, have you ever mistaken a small kitchen appliance for a frosty beverage? Just wondering, Brian Letournau, Portland, Oregon. Hmm, have I? Boy, I'm telling you, it seems like just last week I made that mistake. A frosty beverage for a small appliance. I'll never... Cut, but short again. I'm, I'm sorry, Hal. I'll get it right next time. I'm sorry. I know what I did wrong. Okay. Cut, cut, Dave. You're supposed to put your hand on the toaster. Oh, oh, oh. I, I forgot my line. Dave, you don't have a line. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and those are just a few of the hilarious bloopers you'll get on Paul Schaefer's Best of the Late Night Bloopers tape. Order now. Paul Schaefer's <laughs> Best of the Late Night Bloopers, Box 9500, Van Buren Station, White Plains, New York, 10565. We'll save that one for volume two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness well there you go uh what was that's that? her huh what was that called <laughs> well, i don't know ah. you know i had something to say about that and i forgot it but don't <laughs> don't worry ladies and gentlemen because everybody here tonight gets a large portion of ham we'll be right back with a friend marv albert